morning how are you so today i'm back on my chaise lounge and um you know i said right i was disappointed in my last poundland shop and i wasn't gonna go back for a while because the one-way system was a bit of a nightmare on parking okay i lied i know didn't mean to but i did and the reason um i've lied well not lied actually circumstances changed is because i got a slot at our local tip last night I know, I was so excited. So I got loads of junk out the garage and on the way back I passed Poundland and there was a parking space. So I thought, you know what, it would be rude not to uh, because as I said in my last video, I regretted not getting the topiary um, balls. I have Lola here. <laughs> um, it is early in the morning um, today and um, they haven't been out because it is absolutely pouring with rain. So my plan is to get them out later on in the day in a really long walk. So they're a little bit sort of unhappy with me at the moment, aren't you? Yes, I know, but not just yet. Right, so let me show you what I've bought. So first thing I need to do is stop saying so. Um, I bought two of these containers. Can you see? There is two there. Oh, look, she knocked your camera over. There's two in this um, box here. Um, they're not very, very strong. I will be completely honest. If I can get the one out, there we go. I can just show you. They're not really strong. Okay, they are very flimsy, but they are a pound. What do you expect? And I've got loads of um, spray paint and varnish and stuff in my garage that I just need to tidy up. And I just thought these would be perfect to pop them in and just um, put it to one side. They don't have lids on, it might be nice if they did because they could have stacked it, but you know what, it's not the end of the world. The fact that they're all together and not scattered will be a bonus. So yes, yeah, so I've got two of those and they were great as carrying bags because I said I wasn't planning to go to Poundland and I didn't take a bag with me. So I would have had to buy one and yesterday's um, haul, which I didn't tell you, but I did have to buy a bag because again, I didn't take one with me and um, I paid a pound, it's fine, and I got a nice flamenco one, but um, it's in my garage, otherwise I'll show it you now. So what did I buy? Right, the reason I went in was because I decided to get these in the end. Okay, I've got two, and I've got some ideas what I'm going to do with them, um, but do you remember I said to you, I think they're a little bit sort of cheap looking, um, and they're a pound for God's sake, I know, I know, what do I expect? Um, but I think I can do something with these. There's like a purple, I don't know what, it's supposed to be a flower thing there, which is a bit naff. Um, and I can either cut it out or work with it, I don't know at the moment. But um, I was thinking all last night about some ideas of what I could do with that. So yeah, I've got two of those. So that thing in there. Um, not craft related, but um, I bought these. Um, they're called Skinny Whips. So I think one's toffee and chocolate. And the other one is double chocolate bar. I did have one last night. Um, they're nice size. There we go. They're four and a half sins on Slim World. Now I thought because they're called Skinny Whip, they'd be a bit like a Milky Way. And Milky Ways aren't that high in sins, I don't think, anyway. Um, but I had one last night, and there's like a, a very thin, sort of crispy layer on them. Um, and it's really nice, actually. So yeah, I like those. Um, four and a half sins, just gonna care for how many you have in a day. But yeah, it's a nice little treat and it's really chocolatey and yummy. So definitely worth a try on Slim World. Or if you're not on Slim World and you like some chocolate. Um, how many calories are we for calorie counting? 99 calories. Okay. Here we go. Right. Oh, okay. Face masks. I know. They are really important at the moment. And you get two for a pound. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to pick some up. I've got some um, really beautiful ones that you can wash. Um, from my friend Sharon's shop called Envy Her and Warwick, which you can pre-order, go online. In fact, go online, go on her Facebook page and you can see she's got like leopard print and all sorts and they can convert into a little scarf if you want to. So they are beautiful. Um, but for just sort of, you know, having your handbag thrown away, I thought these weren't bad because I looked actually um, at a local chemist and I think they were 50 for about 30 odd pound. So they're not cheap at the moment. And I know I bought some from Amazon um, when lockdown first happened. And I think I paid about a pound each for them. So yeah, I'm not too bothered at 50p each. Always good to have them. <laughs> Again, not um, craft related, but I was so thirsty last night. I was so humid after that thunderstorm that um, I had to get some Coke and it was two for a pound. So that's the second one I haven't drunk. I'm sure I'll drink it today. Right, what else have I got in my little goodie bag? 
Okay, um, you know I'm crafting at the moment, not just in little crafts, but I'm doing some um, upcycling of furniture. And um, I saw this and I thought, fabulous. So it's a staple gun and it does come with staples. Now it's probably not the best one in the world, but for a pound, well, I don't think that's bad. I'm assuming it's a pound, I don't think anything on my list was two pound. So yeah, so I'm quite pleased with that. This is from my um, upcycling cupboard. Right, um, oh, you know I said about my water bottle, I wish I'd got the green. They had one green left, so I've got the green and I'm thinking, so cricket with maybe flowers with floral you know are you with me on this are you with me are you feeling it yeah so yeah definitely so when we go on our walks i can uh, sort of um use my water bottles to match my outfit yeah i know it's a bit mad isn't it i know right okay next two things are super cute and they may not end up doing in a craft because i think they're just so super cute on their own um, so they may just be um, for a summer's day in the garden when I'm doing a barbecue. I know. Do you know what? These were not in the day before. As I said, the shelves were quite low. So they must have had um, a delivery. Because I would have seen these. And they are super cute. And I love them. The little solar powered lights. So, yeah. I'm really, really happy with those. As I said, I'm not sure what I'll do as a project with them. They may just end up being in the garden, but they are cute. Cute, cute, cute. What else have we got? Right, okay. These will end up in a craft item. I'm not sure what yet, but these are um, preserved jars. You know, for your jams. I got three packs of these because I thought they were cute and I hadn't seen them before. Um, so they're just little jars with lids, like that. But what I liked as well, I can find one that's got it in. Oh, there we go. Look inside, and you've got some chalk and some blackboard stickers. Now, I probably won't use them for these. Um, or might, I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking, could you use those in some way? Make them into bathroom caddies, you know, for like your um, cotton birds and things like that. I don't know. So I've got three packs of those, just because I haven't seen them before, and do you know what? I might see them again. Just make space in my box to get rid of them up here. Right, so let me go to that down there. Okay, right. Next item. Do you know what? I'm so excited about this um, haul today because considering I went the day before and was disappointed, I've got some really great things. And I mean, you might not think they're great. It all depends on what you're doing crafting wise, but I'm just really, really excited. So I'm really, really sorry. Um, I've got these. So these are like your cup hooks. Maybe can you see them? And if you remember my um, owl board that I did for the garden, and I put two of these in so you could hang your tools on them. And I've got four more boards, obviously, from the other day. And I thought, yep, yeah, I'm gonna need some of these. And I was gonna go on Amazon and get them. Never seen them in Poundland, but they had them. So yeah, super impressed. Save me a fortune. Right, next two items. Um, don't laugh, okay. I'm really excited. Now they're not good quality because they were a pound obviously but i've got some clamps i know and you're probably thinking why on earth has she got clamps right they are plastic so strength wise isn't going to be massive but i've got some furniture in my garage that does need wood glue and i needed something to hold it together so i saw these and i thought you know what no brainer so yeah, I've got two packs because I'm not quite sure how many clamps I'm going to need. Um, as I said, they're probably not really, really strong, but maybe strong enough to hold what I need. So, and actually, I'll probably use it on another project, you know, when you're trying to get um, the glue to stick. So yeah, I'm super happy. Easily pleased. Right, okay. Not a craft item, all right. Um, I don't know if you know, you might, you might not, but I've started getting back into cycling. Um, I haven't been out for a little while because um, it's raining but um, my bum is so sore. And I've got proper cycling shorts, you know, with the, the nappy in it, as I call it, um, paddy seat. But my bum on a long ride still gets sore. And um, I was looking um, on Amazon the other day, thinking, oh, shall I buy another um, sort of like a pair of cycling shorts with a bigger pad in them? Or shall I buy a pad for my bike seat? I don't know. And then I was in Poundland and got this. And I thought, do you know what, for a pound, I'm going to give it a go. Because it is really, really squidgy. And if it saves my uh, my bum, I'll be happy. 
I mean, it might be really, really uncomfortable, but for a pound, I'll give it a go. Seriously. Yeah, definitely. Right, that's going in there. Right. Do you remember the towels I got? And I got some more yesterday because I was worried that they might sell out. Right, okay. They didn't have those ones in, or not that I saw, but they had some different tiles in. And I love these, okay? So, are you, brace yourself, brace yourself, guys. Look at these. Now, I'm thinking, not using these as tiles, I'm thinking of cutting these maybe into strips or individual squares and using them for projects because I just love the pearlescent of them and the colours and I just think they will come in super, super handy for something. So I bought four packs. So they're going in my store cupboard um, for future projects. I just love it. Brilliant. Right. Empty box. That doesn't mean the end of it. Right. Where do I go next? I'm going to save the best till last. I am. That's one of the best. And I've just uh, given the dog a heart attack. Okay. A metal ruler. It's a bit squidgy, so it's not a solid one. Okay. But again, it's a pound. And this will be brilliant for when I'm doing some of my crafting and you want something a bit more stable than a plastic ruler. So, and especially like my woodwork and things like that. Um, so yeah, so I haven't seen those before. Maybe not looking. I don't know. But I'm chuffed. Can you see? I'm chuffed. I'm happy. So yes, yeah, so that's going to go in there. Um, I bought some more of these shepherd hooks while well, I've got them in. They weren't in yesterday, they are today, so I've got three packs. And um, you remember the spoons I bought? And I said they're going to make bird perches. These are for that project, okay? So all will be revealed one day soon. Do you know what? I'm just going to put them back here. <laughs> just too long. Okay, right. I've got two items left, all right? And as I said to you, these are my favourite. Favourite, favourite, favourite. First one. Here's a little butterfly. Isn't that cute? It's got like a slight spring underneath it, so it sort of helps it sort of ping. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it or what with, but I just love that. Now, that definitely wasn't there the day before, and it was the only one they had left that was I might have bought a couple. So um, I don't know whether they went really quickly or whether this was one that was hiding away somewhere else, but don't you just love that? Isn't that super cute? And then, right, okay, my final item, which I love. Um, I'm thinking now, autumn, nice reef on the front door, some arrangement, and Bertie. Yeah, I've named him Bertie. Um, I'm gonna keep looking for other characters while I'm in there, because I do think Bertie needs some friends, but do you not think he is cute? So yeah, he's not for now. And I'm quite surprised to see him. I suppose maybe he keeps the birds off the seeds and things and the plants maybe. But I do think he is a harvest festival, autumn kind of guy. Do you think? Yeah, he's, a, he's definitely a guy. He's got a little bit of a, a cheeky face. But he's my little birdie. So, ending on birdie, that is my haul. So guys, gone from being a little bit mm, the other day to yay and that's what I love about Powerland because you go in there and you do not know what you're going to find it's like a treasure trove and oh I'm so happy now so I'm going to um, be thinking in my brain which I have been all night as to what I'm going to create with all these wonderful little items um, I do need to sort my dad's um, Father's Day present out, otherwise he's going to get nothing on Sunday. So um, yeah, I need to do that first um, and that will be my project. I will start that, I think, today or maybe Saturday morning to get it dry in time. I will share it with you. So I'm disappointed with the box. Um, that little rumbling in the background is Fido. And I don't know what's up with him. I said they're not happy because they haven't been for their walk. But uh, it is absolutely pouring down here, so they will get one later. I will always walk them, but just not at 6 o'clock in the morning. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. You take care. Bye. Bye.